Alright, what's up everyone, Nerfed Finder here, and today we're gonna be talking about some more Akela and Gaflora to one ooze. Or should I say I'm just gonna be playing the stuff that has been changed? But yeah, anyway, Beta 2 actually came out yesterday, and there were some significant changes to the Gravity Imploder and the HRG Beluga beat. And that's exactly what we're gonna be checking out today. Okay, just to make sure, am I using all the correct skills? Pretty much. So I just use these skills when I play with my Gravity Imploder and that's what we're gonna be, well yeah, doing today. And I do have to sadly enable the cheats so I can get myself the weapon. Okay, just before we hop right in, I do want to thank Hell Dragon and Raven for both becoming channel members. So yeah, thank you guys very much and do remember to spam those freaking emotes. And just in case you guys want to become a channel member, yep, there is a big join button right next to my freaking name. On top of that, I do want to thank me Miguel Barroso for pledging five dollars over on the Patreon. Miguel, that means a hell of a lot and you also get a Strasser thumbs up and a Strasser with a balloon. Yep, I haven't said that for a while. But yeah, again, as I always say, thank you guys for all of the freaking support. It really means a hell of a freaking lot. And without further ado, let's continue with the video. So yeah, what has changed on the gravity imploder? So weapon weight has been increased from 7 to 8. Primary fire explosion damage decreased from 350 to 320. Primary fire explosion radius decreased from 375 to 280. Added small self damage on primary fire explosions. And transparency of primary fire explosions has been increased. So yeah, is this weapon going to be worth playing with? Well, pretty much... Yes, it's still not that bad. So the main point of this weapon is to just... Well, I yeah, put everything into one little place and just like whoop them with your... Well, yeah, primary fire. But yeah, as they said, if you shoot on the floor... Okay, I have to like reload first, but when you shoot on the floor, you actually take a little bit of self-damage. Now, the damage is not significant. It's like, what? Four? Just to double check. Yep, it is four. But yeah, this weapon... Yeah, I just like it. I don't know why. It is a fun DLC weapon, and on top of that, very, very useful here. Oh my god, it's just like Ape and Kamen. Okay, time to heal. Yep, this game feels weird to play again. Boy, I have to reload. I do have to test it on multiplayer, because I just can't, because they just don't, like, provide this weapon to test out on multiplayer. But I can kind of feel like it's going to be performing very, very similar to what you're seeing here in solo play. Oh, clot. Okay, my mind just got stuck. The hell was that? Blot. Yeah, it's cool. So the biggest nerf to this weapon is actually the damage. Now, fair enough, they didn't actually significantly, you know, nerfed the damage. I mean, 350 to 320 is, well, yeah, not that significant. Now, I do want to check out the Beluga beat because this thing... I mean, it was kind of good beforehand, but I feel like it's not going to be used all that much anymore. So what has actually changed on the Beluga beat? Well, primary fire damage reduced from 110 to 100. Alt fire damage reduced from 280 to 240. Primary fire projectile range reduced by 13%. Alt fire projectile speed increased by 20%. First and second upgrade damage modifier has been reduced from 15 to 10%. Momentum applied to Scrakes, Flesh Bones and Core Pounds with the primary fire has been reduced by 33%. Armor bonus damage removed from alt fire. Microwave rate of primary fire reduced by 33%. Microwave rate removed from alt fire. And the final one added additional force to Z ragdolls on deaths done by alt fire to increase the impulse on their bodies. Yep, that was a lot to freaking read, but pretty much what you have to know is that this weapon, it's still usable, like very much usable, but a little bit more mediocre than beforehand. But yeah, this thing, it's still going to be killing, you know, trash one shot, no problem, and the alt fire, it's going to be faster now. And it's still going to be like doing giga freaking damage. Yeah, boy. Yep, there we go. Oh, spooder. I mean, look at this. I mean, it's probably not going to... Oh, it is going to one-shot the fidget spinner. So that is always cool. Okay, what about the range? They said something about the range. I mean, that just, like, microwaved them. 
didn't actually there. kill him though. Oh, we got a, a quarter point. Okay, can still push him back. Not sure what the hell they meant. <gasps> and he still kills them, so that is always cool. How did you just get frozen, fam? Okay, let's just go into the freaking hoose. Oh, my man just destroyed that pillar. Thanks, Sidor. Doing carnage every step of the way. Okay, quarter punt. Let's test this shit out. Can okay, you stop punching me, though? I mean, you can still push him back. So that's pretty good still. Oh my god, you have to be, like, so freaking precise. <coughs> what you know the alt for? Otherwise, just, like, don't even use it. But yeah, I think this weapon is still, like, in a sweet spot. I mean, the sharpshooter can't, like, deal with trash that reliably. And this weapon, yeah, it just deals with the trash very, very nicely. Now, I do know that a lot of people are gonna say that, well, they just, like, took away all the skill from the sharpshooter and... I mean, I guess. But, I mean, in multiplayer, yeah, this is... Maybe going to be like a lifesaver. Okay, let's do some precision shots. Uh, just like that. Oh my god. It does feel satisfying to use. I'm just gonna say that. How did that miss? Okay, there we go. Okay, either. How? I mean, if you just like miss him just like a little bit. I mean, good luck. Oh, we're all the beluga beat. Is it ruined? Yeah, probably not. Now, in beta 1, this thing was performing very, very godly. I did actually test it out on, like, a multiplayer match, and my god, it was just, like, pushing things left and right. I mean, it was just, like, easy mode. Oh, pa. Okay, flesh bones, where are you at? I mean, some something spawned somewhere. Oh, there he is. My man. Oh, and of course, I just got stuck. <laughs> See, so look, it still works. You just have to be, like, very, very precise. Wait, what? Like, of course, that was, like, a spooder that I didn't even see. All right, man. But, yeah, with this weapon, I do recommend having the crouch skill, you know, the stability skill. I mean, 30% damage. It's quite a freaking lot. I usually just, like, forget I have it. But, I mean, when I remember, yep, the damage is significantly freaking better. Oh, God. You just have to, like, predict where they're going to be, like, going. No, okay, he didn't die from that. But you're gonna die from this. Never mind. There you go. Okay, got a spooder. Freeze him up. Maybe whoop him like that. But yeah, do keep in mind, this thing now is fully upgraded. And the damage is still pretty, pretty alright. But the main thing I love about this weapon is the amount of ammunition you can, well, yeah, carry with it. I mean, look at this. I've been shooting, like, for the entire wave. And as you can see, I still have, like, what, 77 freaking rounds. Okay, boy. Yep, got him good. I think this shit actually pierces through the Zeds. Okay, not that one. No, I didn't leave, like, headshot him for the second one, and he just, like, freaking collapsed. So, the Beluga beat, is it ruined? In my opinion, not really. It's still going to be pretty useful. So, yeah, close range. Do these shots. Just to, you know, kill trash, everything. And if there's going to be, like, a husk standing right over there, yeah, you just press the alt for and... Will I chop off his fuel tank? Okay, I do want to go back to... Well, yeah, the demolitionist, because this weapon is satisfying to all hell. I mean, you can still pair it with the kabooms, they can still have, like, a room for... Well, yeah, a medic pistol. But yeah, this thing combined with the kaboom stick. Yep, a recipe for freaking no penis. I mean, a lot of people were complaining that, you know, they can't, like, see through this weapon when it shoots. But no. Yeah, it's not that bad. Oh, look at him. I mean, fair enough, this, like, radius is... Well, yeah, noticeably bad. Oh, pa. Yep, let's just go down here. And maybe just, like, whack that thing behind. Yeah, this thing's gonna be still pretty freaking epic. I mean, it was, like... Too freaking epic in by the one. And if you guys want to go and try it out, yep, I'm just gonna leave the command for it in the description. Yeah, I just love just piling them up and just like shooting them, man. I mean, fair enough, you do have to like reload it first. Oh, don't, don't think I don't see you here, stalker. Because I do. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Oh, this is gonna be giga freaking bad. So that's why the kaboom stick is a thing. Yep, use the bloat to cushion my fall. Dude, this map, I feel like it's still dropping a lot of FPS. I don't know why. Oh, please, Stalker, no! Ow! Yep, that's why I have the Kaboom stick. You just get out of those situations. 
Giga freaking fast. Oh, why is there a Skrake rage? Oh my god. Okay, I just want to like heal. Just do something here. Skrake, go away. Does it still stun you? Okay, I do have to like... Replace it. Okay, well then Q for that. Wait, can I not push you like away? Okay, got like stunned. Well, yeah, not when I want for him to get stunned. Yeah, boy. So yeah, as you saw here, yep, the Kaboom stick pretty much saved my life. And that's why I do believe the Kaboom stick is one of those weapons that you can never go wrong with. I mean, same goes for the Boom stick because that's what the shit is based off of. Oh, Skrooky Skrook. Oh, we can just like jump this shit. Oh, I just want to like help him get up, but... Okay. Yeah, this thing's like insanely good. I mean, shame the reload is like long, but yeah, for solo, yeah, there's no real need for the medic pistol, to be honest. So yeah, just like upgrade your kaboom stick and you should, well, yeah, beat everything. Top patriarch. Yep, this dude is gonna get giga clapped. Wait, can I actually push him away? I mean, he doesn't get stunned. Nope, he doesn't get stunned. Four bosses, I still much rather have, well, yeah, the RPG. How did you do that? Oh, he just like kicked me further up. Well, thanks, man. Okay, I might actually just like let him go because this is going to be like over just too freaking fast. So I do actually have nukes instead of Mad Bomber and I feel like this weapon is going to do way better with Mad Bomber. So just keep that in mind. Okay, boy. Oh, just like whooped his whole entire armor off. Isn't that just nice? Stalker, please. So the only thing that's like scaring me on this weapon is the amount of ammunition it has. Wait, where's he at? Oh, he's not even like here yet. Oh no, he's coming. Oh no, Spooder Plus! Yep, one spider and you are pretty much destroyed. Dude, when the spider is actually more of a boss than the freaking Patriarch. Okay, I do believe it is time for the Kaboomy stick. Machine gun. Oh, what's he do? Oh, why did you do that? Bruh. Oh, can I do some Hail Mary shit? I don't even know where the hell he just went. Okay, my man's already healed. So he's gonna be coming very, very shortly here. I might just, like, kill him this wave. My man. Oh, but now he's doing the, the rockets. Easily dodgeable, my man. Oh, God. Yep, that's the Patriarch for you. A very hard boss. Oh, no you don't. Oh, my man just let go. Yep, my man actually went away. But, I mean, who the hell cares? Because he is the freaking Patriarch. I just love fighting the Patriarch. It's just, like, so... So freaking chill. Oh, and there he goes. So, yeah, everything else in this update pretty much stood the same. But if you guys want to read everything that changed, I'm just gonna put the link in the description so you guys can go read it for yourselves. And all that good stuff. So yeah, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys next episode. Adios.